I'm Wayne Newell, and in the conversation we've been having, I've been trying to express as much as possible the stages of uh, where I was at. I can only speak for myself. Um, and and the, the beginning stages are very um, non-productive. I won't say destructive, but non-productive because um, we tend to spend a lot of time in almost calling it revenge in some ways. But all of a sudden, um, you pass through that not um, knowing, you know, you're passing through it. But as you grow a little bit older, you start, your, your thinking starts to expand. And once that happens, you adopt something um, which is bigger than the stuff you're leaving behind. You know, the negativity, the, the, the I guess you call it the, the wounding or the victimizing, we, you start to leave that behind because you start to realize that that particular um, uh, mode is not helpful. One of the things that it does is block your own personal ability, your own personal ability to be creative, to be, uh, to think in a wider way. And now that I have reached uh, another plateau, I, I realize that that stuff did in fact block one's ability to do um, things that are good, things that are helpful, not just for myself, but helpful in terms of communicating with my fellow human being and, and uh, helping uh, that process uh, expand even more because the children start to see what's going on. They start to feel what's going on. And so you, you almost complete the circle of, uh, um, I don't know what to call it, but it's very peaceful. It's very peaceful to know that, that you have arrived. There are still sometimes obstacles or things that you have to solve and resolve, but it's easier when you reach, you know, I guess you call it an older stage, and maybe that's why our tribe and other tribes have always honored elders, because elders, for the most part, reach that, that um, phase of great productivity and great thinking so that they they can open the door and let other people into their lives. And that's, that's what I was talking about.